today's uh, Saturday and uh, after quite a few days of rain we've got some beautiful weather and it's my beautiful wife's birthday today she's early 20s <laughs> so we're at, currently at Kuatunu Motor Camp have a look around beautiful spot cracker some good swells rolling in from yesterday but uh, anyway we're going over the hill to Matarangi to maybe have a bit of lunch something for a birthday so this is Rings Beach this is a 10 minute walk over the hill pretty stunning we've had uh, the last I don't know five six days really shit, shit weather rain and pouring and windy and horrible so much so it broke our warning on the caravan but that's a different story <laughs> which we'll get to one day issue in New Zealand um, with some of our big native kauri trees they get uh, kauri dieback which is a disease and it's spread by people's shoes as well so Doc has put in all these socks and you scrub your shoes first and you spray the bottom if you can balance if you can balance and that's just to stop the spread of dieback for the coldies. These are the little fantail. Mm, fantail. Here we go, Roddy. And they, um, you, you think they're being super friendly, but they're just eating the insects that you disturb when you walk past. So, this here is a juvenile coldie. They grow to like 60 meters and like 10, 11 meters in girth, so they're huge, but they're planting a whole lot through here um, obviously because it was logged years ago and they want it to improve get back to the way it was so this is Matarangi so I remember coming here as a kid and it didn't look like this it's mostly just pine trees and a flat beach but beautiful <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Envious Adventures. So we've moved on and we're currently in this stunning spot which is called Mai Tai Bay. Now this is on the Kari Kari Peninsula. Um, I don't know, it's about half an hour from where we were before. So unfortunately for us, um, there's a rahu placed uh, on this beach which means you can't fish um, in this bay or the bay just over now that's probably fine because you can still fish down that way and you can still fish over the other side on the main beach um, so Arahui for people who don't know it's um, the local iwi have deemed the area to be a bit overfished and that's probably fair enough um, so they put the Arahui in place for I don't know maybe a few months um, it means you can't take any or any seafood from here um, but you can still enjoy this beautiful place and I guess at the end of the day if it helps increase fish stocks and people have good fishing later on well that's all good but um, anyway we are freedom camping here and uh, we'll be here for I don't know three days 
it's um, pretty stunning. So here's some more information on the Rahu I was talking about. So it's actually 20th, 2017 to 1st of March 2025, so that's quite a significant time. But I guess uh, the aim is to bring back some fish. A bit of surf casting today and caught a couple of kawai. And uh, oh yeah, smoking them up. So you use this little thing at the back here. You put some wood chips in it, chuck it on your barbie. The trick to it though is don't get your barbecue too hot. It's got to be hot enough to uh, create some smoke, but not too hot. Otherwise, you just cook the fish normally. So um, anyway, a bit of an experiment. I had some before and tasted it. Pretty good. So I'll be I'll be doing a bit more of that.